the Oakland, the Saginaw, <laughs> the, the D. Detroit, the D, <laughs> the Flint. Come on, man, we're gonna do that shit for every city. It's a whole bunch of black. The Memphis, that shit gonna be hard. Mm -hmm. You already know. The Texas, the Houston, the, the Dallas. Dallas. H time. Come on, man. Yeah. You be writing name? movies and shit too? Um, in my head. In your head. I'm gonna start uh shit, it's in a lot of time and you turn into reality for real. real quick, you just bro. keep them in your head. Okay. You save yourself a bunch of time actually having to write them up. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> now well, welcome back to the 85 South Show, man. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. Got yeah, a very special guest in the trap with us today, man. Come on, man. A very well-rounded actor, man, a gifted young brother Cold. who's been Cold. doing this thing with Come the on. movies and the TV shows and shit, all kinds of shit. We had to stop through the trap. It's about time. Been trying to put this shit together for a minute, man. None other. Barton Fish Patrick. Yeah. Bar Bar Barton. Bar Barton. Barton. Barton Fitzpatrick. There we go. Barton. Barton. Can we round of applause again? Yeah, oh yeah, let's go right. back around. Can we do it again? Do it one more time. Yeah. Come back around. More time. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank Bartan. you. Thank y'all, man. Thank you. See how they put that shit all together like <laughs> yeah. that. How you get mean? it right? You gotta get it right. No, I'm gonna get the it shit happen. right. It happened. I'm half a blunt in. Bar time. Yes, sir. That's hard. Thank you. Shit, man. We just been around here kicking and talking that little shit around shit. here, man. You know, tuning in. Staying up to date, staying current. How's that shit been? The experience, man. Just working on that dope ass show is that quickly became one of America's favorites. Like, from the inception, it seems like, man. Absolutely. How, bless him. How did it come about for you? Um, I had um, I had worked with the casting directors, um, Crystal Carge and Marissa Ross, for um, two previous roles. Yeah. And um. You know, the the character Reg originally was just um, supposed to be in the first episode. You know, he just had um, ten lines, and um, you know, I did it. You worked you know, it, did, yeah. You know, I worked it, and um, the producers um, fell in love with me. And then they just upped the character, and then you know, going so in the scene. Hold on, bro. You were supposed to be one off, or you were supposed to die? You nah, just, I was just supposed to be in the in the pilot in episode. The pilot, that's it. I had ten lines, and that was it. Come yeah. on, man. From there. Thank you, man. Good luck. Fucking fucking Miracle. Miracle. Go in there and get it, bro. We're Thank here. you, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's that's definitely dope, man. It just really go in there and earn your spot like that. To take something, like you said, a, a, a one episode character and run with it. Absolutely. But that's Shit. what that's what the epitome of when you get that shot. Man, hey. Do what the fuck you supposed to do with like yeah, you could have looked at that shit like they only gave me ten lines. I'm only in the pilot, man. Fuck all, you know. Absolutely. That's, that's yeah. yeah. No, that's big, man. I mean, and I, I didn't, you know, naturally I didn't ever ex expect it to happen like that. You know what I'm saying? I was just happy to just book another gig. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As an actor, so you know, what I'm saying? Yeah. like you know yeah, how that should be. Oh yeah. Especially absolutely. when you between gigs. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Like, yeah. give us some game on that, then. How you? How did you? What were some of the things that you were picking up as you like? Because I know after, like, you know, you go from one episode, then they give you another one. They ain't gonna tell you shit. You ain't going nowhere. Absolutely. They make you keep working for it. Absolutely. So, what were you doing in the meantime? Just, just seeing if they were actually gonna, you know, what I mean, keep you in there. Um, it was crazy because, um, yeah, like you said, um, I was just like showing up as a day player, as is, as what it's called. So. Um, showing up to um, different costume fittings. I remember when they brought me back for the ep for the third episode, and you know, they gave me a nice little scene with um, my guy Stephen Williams. Shout out Stephen Williams. You know what I'm saying? He played the character Quentin, yeah. and it was like they was just like um, just the the chemistry that we had in this one particular scene. I remember one of the um, the producers, David Rodriguez. You know, may he rest easy. He was like, um, he's like, nah, we finna do something with your character. And you know, of course, it's just like, you know, people just say stuff, so it's just like, but nah, like each episode, they'd be sending me, you know, the script, but you know, I was just going about it, just hoping that, you know, they would continue to write me in. And I didn't realize, you know, what it was, but my guy, like Jason Mitchell, he'd be telling me like, bro, you have no idea, like 
what they doing for your character, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> because I'll be doing this showing up to work, but I didn't understand, like, I'm really the villain of the show. I'm going to be the, the bad guy, quote unquote, yeah, of the show. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> End up, you know, no, that's being crazy to fans, be the main fans. bad guy. Like, yeah. bro, that's hard. Yeah, man. So, and just naturally, just come about, you know. So. You a villain. Yeah, you feel me? So, yeah, that shit was called. What was it like getting ready for that? To, to know you, you know what I'm saying? Now that I mean, you I'm know from, what I'm it from is. I'm from the crib, so you know. I mean, never, never was that my life. You know, I never was a um, a street guy, or anything like that. But of course, everybody got cousins, yeah. brothers, and. You know, just from just being in that environment, so it's nothing to imitate what you've seen your whole life. So, yeah. but even still, you know, people watch the character, people who who know me, like my homie. You know what I'm saying? Certain facial expressions, and you know, it's like, oh no, that's 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 Bart. Right, you know, right, <laughs> like, right. you know, you do that shit. Yeah, it's really you know what I'm saying. So it's still me, of course, portraying the character. You know what I'm saying? What the love been like at the crib? You know, represented. Did you get to do all Phenomenal. your shit there, huh? Phenomenal. It's like it's all love. Man, like I feel like in the next like five to ten years for sure, it'll officially be like the new Hollywood. Like Think a lot so. of actors are already moving to Chicago because you know Empire came, um, mm-hmm. The Shy, of course. Then of course um, Tommy, the spinoff yeah. for Forrest. Yeah. They came to the crib. Everybody don't know that Joseph Shakura, his real name, he's actually from Chicago. So yeah. That was a it only makes cool sense. Thing, okay. You know? But of course, like, yeah, it gives me an opportunity still remain and living in Chicago to, you know, be a local hire and be there for the opportunity for those shows. Yeah. And actually get to be a part of something that's literally got the city name, you know, yeah. representing and make sure that that shit done right. So you ain't got to watch your city be portrayed by some nigga out of town and oh, got man. the accent Come fucked on, up man. and we don't even Come talk on. like yeah, that, you know? you know? And it's not a knock to the motherfucker because the motherfucker be pulling it off, but sometimes that shit don't be right. Exactly. I mean, the people who from the city, exactly. yeah, yeah, there and we the go. people who from the city, we would be able to tell, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, at least put some out. But that's just on the small that, scale. Yeah. Other people will look at it and be like, accept the, you yeah. know, the What was your introduction to acting, though? Um, well, my father, he grew up um, as best friends, you know, brothers with um, Larry Tate, who was Lorenz Tate's, old, um, his father. So okay. naturally, that was, you know, that's big cuz. So I was always inspired, you know, as old dog. Everybody, of course, yeah. know, you know. Shout yeah. out to Lorenz. Shout out to Come on, Lorenz Tate. And, and of course, Lamar Tate, you know what I'm saying? Most Don't definitely. be a menace. You Most feel definitely. Me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they always inspired me to, of course, want to pursue it. But seeing you in high school, I entered um, the August Wilson monologue competition. And um, the preliminary round, I got a scholarship um, for acting at the AUIC, University of Illinois at Chicago. And um, just did that for a year. That's mostly like theater based though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My, I grew up, you know, in love with Denzel Washington. So it's like my, you know, my you thing was always, theater. I want to be a film star. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But television came about, of course, like these shows coming to town and then getting my first agent. These were the auditions that I was getting. So it's just like, you know, yeah. that's what it was. Parlayed that shit. Yeah. But you was on the right path because Denzel, if I'm not mistaken, you know, he started doing, he was doing some theater oh, absolutely. stuff. absolutely. No, I, I give, uh, you yeah. know, I, I, I give it, give it my all to, you know, to theater, you know what I'm saying? You know, still, whenever I could, you know, mm-hmm. afford to. What's your theater shit? Like when you in your theater bag, like what's your, what's your play? What's your shit you fuck with that's heavy in there? You know what I mean? That people in the theater world would know. Anything like. related to August Wilson. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. He has um, what's called the century cycle of it's 10 plays, you know what I'm yeah. saying? From the 20s to 30s to 40s, you know? And um, yeah, it's just like those black characters are like, literally like you would be able to just see like us, you know what I'm saying? So that's what really, beside um, Lorenz Tate, I went to see an August Wilson play and just seeing like those black characters, like that reminded me of my friends and my uncles. And, family members, that's what truly inspired me to really, really want to pursue acting. So of course, like I said, I started off on the stage and you know what I'm saying? I truly respect theater for giving me my start. But like I said, my, my goal and my dream was always to be a film star. Mm. You know? that's all but, the August Wilson, all them stories that you talk about, the century cycle, right? Don't they take place at the same house or something like that? Is, is that? Yeah. It all takes place in Pittsburgh. Okay, in same, yeah, in Pittsburgh. On the same oh, block. Same block. Same okay, block. that's right, yep. Yeah. And then in each each play, all the characters are in a relationship. Yeah, stuff yeah, like that. So yeah, 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 you know what's up. That's yeah. Cool. yeah, I, I mean, seen the area. Every... He didn't had a thousand lives, bro. <laughs> now, and I seen this shit when I went to Pittsburgh. I did a comedy show, and Absolutely. they had a little area, and they like, oh, okay. this is what I was like, oh, okay, for sure. Yeah. See, sure. Nigga was leaving two lives at one time. 
Oh man, you got to. Historically yeah. doing comedy and shit. That's hard, bro. It's just crazy how the how the world's just intertwined like that. Absolutely. Maybe I should go to school study some theater. I, I wouldn't necessarily say like that. That would uh, make a difference. Like I feel like acting is one of those things where you either have it or you don't. No, this just for me, my personal resume. I ain't never gonna act. I'm just gonna study it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. Well, you, I never use it. It's just. just I know how to do it. I could do that if I wanted to. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking to? <laughs> See, he told you. <laughs> I declined the scholarship to Julian. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I fuck with it though. Yeah. That's dope, man. J O N, how you living over there, bro? You got some techno music playing? I'm just Turn this ain't got none of my music off, man. Ain't got, got none of my look. music playing. Why? Oh, come yeah, on, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's out. You got some? I got some songs out. Let's I do R and B. I told you that. I hit you up. Hey, man, them actors. Bro, I've been waiting up. to talk to you about that. You left me up. on scene. Them actors going crazy. Carlos left me on scene, y'all. No, the fuck, man, don't be fucking doing this shit. On Instagram? Don't, don't be trying to ruin yeah, that'll my happen. name. That, 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 I that'll told happen. him. I'm not going to be on here putting smut on my name. I was next to the nigga. He act like he ain't see my message. But yeah, I reached out to you. Go bark. I reached out to you. You know, I did music though. You probably just, you know, it happens. You know what I'm saying? You uh, know, it can happen. Man, oh, let me go look. Yeah. I'm gonna find it. Yeah, no, keep good. talking. Yeah, keep yeah. talking. God damn it. But yeah, um, my artist name is Barton, by the way. So Bar-time. like, yeah, Barton. Barton. Put the hyphen over the O so they can oh, the not, the not so they know. mispronounce so they it like, like Carlos did. Yeah, you ain't gonna bark me. Yeah, yeah, can't do that. It's Barton. Yeah, man, it's it's okay. Black people just do that shit. You know, once you get to a certain level, oh, don't you, do the, you jack change your whole shit. It's not Carlos, man. It's Carlisle. <laughs> <laughs> no, you stretching the Los part, but my name is really Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they really just call me K-Rod for short. Now, don't nobody fucking call you that. Oh, man. Hold on. Hold, hold on, bro. Yeah, it ain't even. You didn't see it? I'll find it. Shit. Hold on, hold on. Hold I'll on. find it. Come on, we out here. Yeah. Whatever, man. I'm not going to accept it, man. If, it, if you did, it's, it's my bad, and I'm going to have to post the shit now. It's right here. See? Don't, don't ask you me to receive. You want to read it out of that? Don't ask him to read the Don't receive it. Read out of that. I said, most don't definitely. I got no, you. No, 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 no. Right here. Right there. Oh, I didn't. Oh, Big bro, I need a favor. You tell DC. Well, you got to tell him today. See? I mean, it happened either way. I just so happened to this shit with that you. That nigga flipped his right quick. You didn't did. I make and it I'll happen pre- either nah, way? Nah, you definitely made it happen. Come on, I'm just, now nah, 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 you made it happen, though. Sometimes, you know, your blessing come as it is. I ain't have shit to do with it. That's real. <laughs> Now it's going to happen now, right? That's real. Absolutely. Now it's going to happen. <laughs> Come on. What Amen. more can you ask for? Amen. Gift wrap. We got the studio here, too. And the studio right here. Yeah. So guess what? That's how I'm going to make it up. You can record the bitch in the studio. Let's do Don't it. even pay nobody else. Just bring your engineer and your shit, and y'all good. All right. We See? Make it happen for real. That's a for sweet real. ass deal. Know. Let's do it. What more, can you, what more could you ask for, man? That's why I'm me. That's how you, you know the nigga did it, because he don't be doing shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, I love nah, that. Nah, on me. I'm not bad. I <laughs> fucked up. I fucked up. I was living too fast. You probably overlooked it, though. Ain't no, nah, I'm probably, because I've been, I'm been working on this car shit, right? Mm-hmm. Most of my DMs is just me and my lady laughing at memes and niggas trying to sell me cars. It's just, that's it. That's my life. You know you can't leave your lady on scene if she send you a meme. Because then next thing you know, the next message will be them three question marks. That's kind of like black people way of telling you, even though we on the phone and we talking via text and shit, you fucking up. So you never look at your message? Yeah, three question marks, man. You need to go back and see what the fuck she sent. Mm-hmm. I don't know. My lady black and she abusive. She's not a black woman and she just she's she's abusive. real abusive. Can't say that nowadays. It's, it's, I mean, it's not that I'm snitching. They gonna send somebody to like your house. Do nothing about it. I'm just gonna take my abuse like a real nigga. In. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna flinch a lot. Stop, girl. 
I'm trying to put your fucking hands. You just learn how to deal with your emotions. Don't nobody want to hear us. Did you know even if you have a 401k for retirement, you can still have an IRA? Robinhood has the only IRA that gives you a 3% boost on every dollar you contribute when you subscribe to Robinhood Gold. But get this, now through April 30th, Robinhood is even boosting every single dollar you transfer from the other retirement accounts with a 3% match. That's right, no cap. 3% match. Robinhood Gold gets you the most for your retirement thanks to their IRA with a 3% match. This offer is only good through April 30th. Get started at Robinhood.com slash boost. Subscription fees apply. And now for some legal info. Claim as of Q1 2024 validated by Radius Global Market Research. Investing involves risk including loss. Limitations apply to IRAs and 401ks. 3% match requires Robinhood Gold for one year from the date of the first 3% match. Must keep Robinhood IRA for five years. The 3% matching on transfer is subject to specific terms and conditions. Robinhood IRA available to U.S. customers in Good standing. Financial LLC member SI PC is a registered broker dealer. Hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller. I'm back again with some prize picks. Now that football is over, what are we gonna do? I mean, you can focus on other sports like basketball or soccer or, or whatever they plan. But look, let's get started. It's, it's easy. You register for an account, you make a deposit, you pick more or less two to six player stats like points, assists, rebounds, and you can win payouts of up to 25 times your entry. That's right. And if this is your first time using prize picks, they will match your first deposit up to $100. It's available in over 30 states. Go head over to Prize Picks right now. Use promo code 85 South. That's right. So you can get the deposit match. That's if you put $100 in, they'll give you $100. If you put $5, they'll give you $5. But there's no more than $100. hundred. they are going to stop at $100. So just you get $100 free if you sign up and you put $100 in there. They're going to give you $100. Use promo code 85 South. Go over to Prize Picks. I'm telling you, you can sign up right now. It's just fantasy. It's easy. You can do it. I believe in you. Don't nobody else do what I do. Black men. You just have nah, to take they it. They want to hear it. He making good money telling black stories. He the villain. <laughs> he going to use this shit against us. Somebody got to be the he villain. He going to call man. us and be like, yeah, if you don't want this shit to hit the streets, put the money in the mailbox. The villain make the show sometimes. Man. Where you get you, where you get your inspiration from, though? You said from the, from the block and... Niggas you grew up around for the villain shit? No, not, no. <laughs> like, what you, you trying to Vlad the nigga? <laughs> so how long you been banging? <laughs> so you said, you, what, what gang you with, bro? bro you just growing up in Chicago. I knew you had to pick a side. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't do that. No way. Man. Don't do that. So you said you used to hang with the murderers and shit. <laughs> Neutral. <laughs> Big dope, right? Big dope on So tell block. me what it was like in the trap house. <laughs> this is the first trap I've ever yeah, been to in my see life. That? There we go. And this is just a media a trap, don't this get is, me <laughs> This is not four walls. This <laughs> shit is set. It's a mind trap. <laughs> it's trapping other things. Not in trapping. Yeah, we selling media and content over here. Come That's on, it. Man. That's what we trapping now. Hell yeah, yeah, we still got VCR tapes. But not a lot of them. Mm -mm. Not a lot. No. Just for the history and the nostalgia. That's the most freaky ass music, too. That's the same freaky one. But did you ever find the R&B? Yeah, I got uh, Simplicity. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, you want to drop an exclusive right now and just? No, that's out. It's out. No, I'm saying we can, we can it's going to be exclusive because we ain't never played it. Let's do it. Exclusive yeah, to us. Right. Okay. Build it up for us. Tell us what, what this is that we about to get into. Okay, so this is my first single. Your voice changed. This nigga here, bro. <laughs> you thought I wasn't gonna notice that shit? <laughs> yeah, this is shit I've been working on. Hey, man, this is Barton with the thing on. <laughs> okay, I'm right, this is Barton oh, with no thing He in oh. R&B mode. Yeah, bro, let him cook. <laughs> let him cook. <laughs> um, no, so, go back. So go it back. Was, uh, <laughs> no, go back to part time with Come the on, thing on. Let me take so this, this, <laughs> this is um, this is my first single. It was released in 2019. It's called Simplicity. Um, it actually, um, I had the, um, I was graced with the opportunity of having the song placed on the shy. You know what I'm saying? My first single. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I'm really trying to just 
That's diversify my portfolio and just like show people another side of me, you know, beside like these gangster roles, because I really, you know, yeah. I'm about to gear up to drop a um an album and you know Let's really go. take over this R and B side. Let's you go. know what I'm saying? So, Let's yeah, go. Actors is, is the singing and acting line is getting blurred right now. Y'all doing some yeah, man. dope shit. It's a lot of like actors that's, you know, fucking yeah, with the know. singing shit and that shit is going. So Yeah, man, appreciate yeah. you. Yeah, we're just trying to just, you know, be recognized for music as well as, you know, equally, you know, as Hell you yeah. know, actor. So yeah, simplicity. Ladies and gentlemen, Barto. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, let's agree with it. I like eggs in the morning. <laughs> like my girl made me eggs. I didn't eat it this morning, but even if I don't eat it because I be scrambling and I had shit to do, I exactly. still want them. Exactly. I might eat them when I go back tonight. Put you them in the little thing. Eggs. Huh? You make you eggs? Yeah. They fine. Huh? They fine? Hell yeah. She 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 studied how I did it. She know how to make that. cheese no eggs the way you yeah. make them. Cheese eggs. Yeah. It's hard to find a song you agree with too. You know what I'm saying? Some smooth shit to put on for the ladies. Yes, sir. Let a reminder, you know, that simplicity is important. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. You keep making music, man. Thank you, man. I will, man. You you steady going. You got what? How many projects you got? It's a lot, man. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. For real. Oh, man, for real. Hold on. Hold on. Me too. You be producing too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, um, recently produced, co-produced my first film. It's called Everything Is Both. It's on Tubi. Let's go. Yeah, co-star me and uh, my boy Jason Mitchell. Okay, dope. Yes, yeah. sir. Check that out. Tubi movies in a whole different lane, bro. Oh yeah. It's yeah. like we talk about Tubi every episode now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and it's more than just. The, the bad stuff on Tubi. Like, Tubi go crazy with the, with the you know, it's got some, yeah, yeah, yeah. but there's real, legit, quality, yeah. you know what I'm saying, Absolutely. independent shit on there. Real movies on there, you know no, what I'm saying? So, sure. yeah. But I don't want people to just to get that in their head that is, nah, uh, for you sure. know what I'm saying? I got three films on Tubi, and I would say that they all quality films. Okay. You know, yeah. The paradox <laughs> yeah. of, it ain't, ain't nobody got, it ain't the Tubi. Ain't nobody using their hand as a gun. 
Everybody, no, 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 you know no, what I'm saying? No, 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 Y'all gotta check that out. What is that one? On Tubi. Okay, what what is it about? Man. You gotta because we do this and we do this frequently, bro. We talk about the, the shit that's out there. Bro, the yeah. title tell you exactly yeah. what the movie is about. <laughs> you ain't gotta guess what it, Tubi. Is yeah, I don't even want to spoil it for you. Sloppy it's, seconds. Sloppy seconds, man. Guess. And it ain't about even. Yeah, that's, <laughs> the, I, 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 I know. Know. that's the most recent movie I've seen on Tubi. Sloppy well, I told you about the uh, what you call it. The girl who seen a baby on the highway. That's the name of it. Yeah. Yeah, based off For real? the situation. It's called The Girl Who Seen the Baby on the Highway. <laughs> I heard they doing an unauthorized biography of a rapper on a Tubi platform here shortly. I just what rapper a, might I that be? I just saw a trailer for it. What rapper might that be? I don't get in rap beef. Rap beef, I ain't gonna participate. I'm just None saying, uh, if you just so happen to be scrolling through Tubi, you'll probably come across it. Mm. A un, a un uh, authorized. Yeah. He ain't got nothing to do with it. Nah, Dang. I think those are the best biographies, though. <laughs> like when they don't get permission from the family, and they just be like, fuck it, fuck we it. already started shooting. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make it what we want to. Yeah. Who you want to work with on the acting side? And the music side, like dream. On the um, scenario. acting side, I want to work with, um, of course, Denzel, um, okay. but really Samuel Jackson. For yeah, sure. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nah, I that's to, too. Um, I worked with uh, Lawrence Fishburne before. That was, you know, them always <laughs> been like the top three. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying for me? You know, Lawrence, um, Sam, and Denzel. But um, on the music side, um, I want to work with definitely um, with Usher. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He got a little time yeah. now. He ended his residency. Yeah, you know. Stop breaking up relationships. He needs to go man. ahead and just, you know. Yeah, yeah end, come you know? on, man. You got to get him while he, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, he ain't going to be on break long. No. He about to go right back out there. Yeah. Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, he getting up for that. That's oh, right. Yeah, yeah, he performing yeah. at the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, yeah he doing yeah, the he Super lit. Bowl, man. Uh, I, love, I would love for him to take somebody, girl, at the Super Bowl. Somebody extremely important too, like one of them in the, like NFL the wife. owner's wife. Oh, that's cold. Yeah, yeah. He walked right up to Mark Cuban's main lady. <laughs> <laughs> Did she risk it all? Kiss her right here on the titty cleavage. <laughs> oh my God. I should go to jail. <laughs> no, he ain't. It's Usher. <laughs> Tom Dubois already told you. Uh, Usher, Usher just get away Usher. with it. He got Usher bucks. <laughs> He the only motherfucker that can have Usher Bucks. That shit hard. Diabolical, bro. He he literally walks through the crowd and be like, whose relationship is unstable? It's not even about how bad she is. He just smells like an almost broken uh -huh. home. Then he just breaks it all the way up. Usher has found a way to make his sweat not fall off his face. Just so when he's singing to them ladies, his, his skin glisten. That's how diabolical he is. To stop his sweat. So he don't sweat, you say? I mean, it does. The sweat it, just comes to the surface. It's there, but it <laughs> refuses to fall off because it, it's important to the visual that he's creating. I study this shit every week. A report comes out about all the shit in the world that ain't nobody paying attention to. Just find out that most Asian people don't even get mustard. They got this gene that keeps them from having body odor and growing a whole bunch of excessive body hair. Asian people, confirm this. It's a gene. Confirm this. All of our Asian 85 yeah. Southers. You think I'd make up some shit like that? I don't know, yeah. I, that's why I put it on. I would <clears> like <throat> them to weigh in. Go to Mimi page. Is your is your is lovely your, Mimi was just talking about this shit? What she say? She don't get musty. She got okay. It's this gene that Asian people had. Watch this. This is gonna start being real racist in a minute. I hope you ain't get this on one right, white people. You ain't gotta be Asian to have it. <clears throat> <laughs> this is getting you worse can have and worse. That shit too. 
It's called the ABCC11 gene. Oh, here it is. All right, man. Go okay, I'm explain trying, it. I ain't explaining shit to you. Me. Explain it. Tell me. you you refuse to accept the information as I'm telling it to you. you no, know, I'm accepting it. I'm now, listening. Fuck, Google it. You got Google, motherfucker. I'm not. And high speed internet. I don't want Bart, that on my search history. Mm -mm. All right, well, fuck it, man. Asian people want, musty. I don't want that. I don't want that. Y'all niggas to sit is out. on some selfish weed, bro. Red flag. The weed that y'all smoking just won't won't even let you hear the truth. Explain it. I'm telling Why you. Why the fuck I gotta explain it? Because you started. Because I told you it exists, and you the one. No, the fuck you don't. I didn't say you it. You was didn't. the first name said. I didn't say it. Didn't. Go, go, put, go, go, be around them people then if you think they get musty. I'm, you'll smell somebody won't be must. Okay. Well, what is that? What is it? Some other shit. Some shit they even gonna smell crazy, but it ain't gonna be them. That's one wet nap away from so, you don't smell shit no more. A gym full of Chinese people. Don't hooping. say just Chinese people. They okay, Asians of all kinds. They would never hoop together. They well, don't well, wait, wait, okay, <laughs> they all in there hooping. And you telling me it's just it's no smell. No, nah, it's hot. <laughs> It don't smell like shit, dude. <laughs> There's no odor, bro. Nah. They been playing all day. It's so, different teams. Like, motherfuckers has got next. They don't even sweat. They don't sweat now? <laughs> now they don't sweat. <laughs> that gene is a motherfucker, man. It's all just right. like everything in <clears throat> your body stays in your body. Asian people, please let us know. They ain't gonna, they don't true. fuck with us. What you mean? I checked the analytics, bro. We get very, very few views from Asia. There's always few at the show. <laughs> at the live show, it's always like maybe one or two, two, three. But they live in America. What that mean? That the ones in Asia ain't fucking with us yet. So you mean the American Asian people get musty? That's crazy. That's because they've been over here eating <laughs> the hot <my> dogs. <laughs> 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 they eat at McDonald's. <laughs> They if you're American, you're susceptible to being musty. It, they it can happen. Then, then burnt through. They, they good. You dumb. Hey man, what's going on right now in the, in the shaft? The real city. On the entertainment shaft. We just did a show out there not too long ago. You One thing about up. Chicago, they love some 85 South. You ain't hit me up. We're just trying to find a way to make me look like a bad person. <laughs> but nah, what you mean like on the end of the Didn't cat call you? What did cat call you on the FaceTime? Say cat. Damn, don't cat been gone so long, people don't even remember. Cat from 85. Big dude, cat dog. Anyway, Cat is the one who told me that he was trying to get in touch with us and get on the show. Yeah. He told me. He was setting up. He wanted to be here. He was excited, but he had an accident. Yeah. Fucked his leg up. Mm. If he would have came next week, I think next week supposed to be his debut back. <laughs> he fucked up. <laughs> we ready for him. We miss him, though, Keith. I can't believe you ain't believe me, man. About that. I just asked. I don't want us to get canceled. <laughs> that sounds like some shit to be a headline. <laughs> How we gonna get canceled for some shit they find? That's what I'm saying. We Carlos Miller says Asian people stink. I didn't say, I said they don't. <laughs> but that's how they do shit, bro. You said they don't, but that's how they do shit. They flip the shit now. I never said that. That's what I'm saying. I heard that it was quite the opposite. the opposite. Right. That's what they'll say as soon as the article starts. I he actually believe. said the opposite. Now, now that you say it out loud, I gotta. I guess that's kind of like they said, black people got some genes and shit that make us run fast and jump high and shit. Yeah. That's kind of ridiculous. Is it? I don't want to confirm or deny that. <laughs> You know black shit be made. Even black iPhones is different, bro. You ever had a white iPhone? Mm -hmm. Never buying that shit again. Because my white iPhone just work whenever it want to. You know what I'm saying? I think it's running something. Like when I had a white one, 
Siri just used to pop up. What did you say? I'm like, bitch, you just listening and being nosy. <laughs> oh, Karen has iPhone. <laughs> I got me a black iPhone because they run faster. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. <laughs> Whatever, man. I don't like the judgment in this room. <laughs> just a bunch of people doing better than me, huh? Making better iPhone choices. This nigga having two successful careers at the same time and shit. <laughs> Here I am, hosting this fucking podcast. I ain't applying myself. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. <laughs> Yo. I don't know if you heard or if you've been watching the show, but the 85 South Show was recently voted the number one show amongst black people who prefer to date other black people. That's big, that's big. Yeah. Then we was voted number one by other races of people who like to date black people, so. Yeah. We saw that baby. front row. We saw that front row in New Orleans. Many a baby. Shout out to all the real 85 percenters because y'all are the best fans and audience in the whole game of fans and audiences. Some of my favorite 85 percenters are the people who go back and watch the old shit and leave new comments. Comments that you didn't leave the first time you watched it. Like, yes, shit was so good, they had to go back and revisit it. That's right longevity. Mm -hmm. That's prosperity. That's exactly what God wants for me. Bart, let us let us know something. Fill me in. Which mode are you in right now? You still in R&B mode? Because um, we just played the song, and then I know your voice changed. <laughs> and then I was like, I ain't know, I ain't know who, what. Because I had an R&B nigga on here with 19 different personalities. I don't know if you've ever heard of this artist called Music Soul Child. I'm, I'm sure you're familiar with him. <laughs> but have you ever heard a Purple Wonder Love? No, nah, see, you're not familiar with Purple Wonder Love. Mm. Well, apparently he's been making music for years and you've been listening to it, whether you know it or not. According to Music Soul Child, who was speaking to me as Purple Wonder Love via Music Soul Child, but as, you see where this is going? Mm -hmm. All right. Then he named at least nine other people that I'd never heard. <laughs> and he informed me that I had been listening to their music also. <clears throat> and these are all not the same people, but they will only communicate via Music Soul Child. Mm -hmm. So you see my dilemma. Don't you do it. Here it goes. You see what I have to fucking deal with? I'm just saying. If there's nine of them, <clears throat> that's music soul children. He <laughs> <laughs> can't just <laughs> just one child, or the rest are adults. That he's the only child. Music is the soul child. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Soul meaning one. Okay. Well, who the other eight? They're like shell companies. Like the little pseudo personalities, okay. if you will. Okay. Like them little dolls. I don't know if they're even really people, but some of them are more like personalities and epiphanies. Figments of said imagination. Because once you start breaking that shit down, who is music soul child? That's what you were supposed to ask him. I can't. I never, in the midst of him explaining all these other people to me, I forgot. So you gotta ask yourself, who was doing the interview? You? So who the fuck am I? A purple I? wonder look. I was performing <laughs> as myself, as me. Shut up. 
Nah, man. This shit, this just the type of shit that we do in here, man. Nah, for we sure. We get high enough to try to come up with the science mm -hmm. of being a black person. Mm -hmm. Like, what's some of your favorite black shit to do in life? Favorite black shit to do? Some of your favorite, just black, only shit black people can relate to. Like using an old t-shirt to wash your car. See how every black person in this room know exactly what I'm talking about? Like, everybody in here know that you don't clean your mirrors with no fucking paper towels. You use old newspaper for shit like that. Yeah. And I don't give a fuck. It seemed mm -hmm. like it shouldn't work. Right. It seemed like it should, it should, but it works so well. Right. Like, black people understand the importance of Windex. or using some starch on your favorite jeans. If you ain't never used starch in your life, don't ever argue with me. You're not old enough. These young niggas ain't never had to iron their fucking school clothes, bro. Mm -hmm. These are motherfuckers just waking up going to school now. Ain't nobody getting up early enough to watch. They wearing pajamas. <laughs> they going to school <laughs> in their PJs. Ain't nobody ironing fucking school clothes, bro. That was a responsibility that we took very fucking seriously. You iron your school clothes? All right, well, I'm gonna wake your ass up early. You gonna iron them school clothes. <laughs> Don't fuck around and get good and iron, at ironing as a black child at a young age. They don't even let you know that you really about to iron for real for everybody in the house. Hey, hit these for me. Hit these? Hit these? <laughs> these long ass, wide ass <laughs> jeans you talking about? Ain't no way to just hit these. Nigga, these overalls. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, ain't no way to just hit these motherfuckers. Uh, this is a bottle of stay float right there by itself. I'm gonna have to mix up a whole nother bottle of this thick ass starch I've been using that I'm spraying out of a fucking garden sprayer bottle. <laughs> The fucking starch cheaper than the bottle then it's in. Motherfucker done wrote starch on the bottle. Hey, bitch. Mm -hmm. Who told black people to iron in the kitchen? I think that was just the spot that had the most room. <laughs> if you had, you know, if you ain't have a big old spot, you know, that's the most room you gonna get in that kitchen. Without shit being in the way. Without no furniture. On only the black people know this. Now I won't say only black people, but have you ever folded a whole basket of laundry? And then once you looked at what you folded, you'd be like, but don't none of this shit go together. Like I could fold a whole basket of laundry and still not have shit to wear. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. When you buy drawers and you wear them, you never think about having to fold them up and put them somewhere. What? That's, how I, that's what I use as my gauge of success. Until I get to a point where my drawers don't have to be folded, I ain't gonna feel like I made it. Hmm. You don't have to fold. And I got a lot of drawers. Just leave them unfolded. I had to roll my drawers up like socks just to be able to. <laughs> it's fucking dope. But I give, I, do, I collect them all year. Then at the end of the year, I start over. Don't look at me like something wrong with me, bro. Uh, I just literally saw you switch no, personalities and go in R and B mode. You can't, you can't judge me. When you gonna drop some more music though? Like, the, when the album coming out? Um, most likely February. Okay. Top of next year. That's dope as hell. How you dropped one song, went straight to the top though. Right on, got picked right up on the show. Yeah, that was um, that was a blessing. But the shit that you Jacob made actually show, fit in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, me and Jacob got a record together. Jacob came on here. Crazy ass nigga. <laughs> Had his mom over there with him. Stepdad, brought the family. <laughs> it was lit.
kick good shit, man. Mm-hmm. How long you be in Atlanta? Uh, uh, probably get up out of there tomorrow. I just came to just come fuck with y'all. Man, that's cold. Yeah. You done got high and got to think about shit, ain't it? Hell yeah. yeah. That's home. what that couch do. I want do. some waffle house. I'm hungry as hell. That's what I need. Somebody order this man some waffle house. What's your waffle house order? Uh, I need a, um, a patty milk. Yeah, which one? The chicken one? Or you getting the, what you call it? Uh, getting the beef? Mm-hmm. OK. Oh, that that shit making it making it worse. So Don't you hate when a nigga asks you that when you watch your Waffle House order and then you about to order it, so it's making you want the shit even more. Mm-hmm. Order this, you want a patty milk? That's all y'all need. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm calling it in for you, bro. All you had to do was say that shit. What do you, you want, want to drink? drink? Uh, orange juice. Yeah. Hmm? You want hash brown? Mm-hmm. How you want them? <laughs> that nigga, he like, damn, you I, no, bullshit, I wasn't she ready to order again. right now. She don't play if she go, she gone. You, you can't add nothing time. once she close the door. <laughs> you better get on the real. She, yeah, well, she well, dead right right now. Now. You can't add nothing once she leave out there. Come on, hold on. Tell her how you want it. <laughs> yeah. Chicken, milk, no, he ain't say chicken. Yeah. You want? Yeah. Beef, beef, milk, mm-hmm. brown, and a waffle. And a waffle. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Nah, pecan waffle. Pecan waffle. Just a regular waffle. Thank you. See? Appreciate that, man. Man, don't never just hold that. Keep that shit to yourself. Get you in there. I know people that can make this shit happen. By the time we get done, that's what you gonna have. Food, nigga. Right on time. No waiting. You think you company. The least we can do is get you a Waffle House order. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Cause I got a weed. You got some more weed? <laughs> There's a bear shit in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> now this nigga gonna take it too far now, nigga. This nigga gonna ask for all type of shit. <laughs> hey man, I got some holes coming through, man. Y'all got a place out there. <laughs> hey man! You got no rose, dude. Hey man, I keep in this room right here. <laughs> Y'all ain't got nothing to drink. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, do we have something to drink? That's that's for me. What that you ain't... need? <laughs> huh? What you want? No, I want I, I want. I get another bottle of water. Hell yeah. I want liquid. <laughs> what you mean, like some liquor? Liquor. Oh, <laughs> the... <laughs> trying to have some liquor, huh? Oh, okay. I completely understand. And what's your social media, man, so they can link up with you and keep in touch with all the new things Act that like you got work. coming up? Act like Bart. Act like Bart. A C T underscore like underscore Bart on man. all platforms. That's what like the hell goes on, sure. man. That's Look, we got on. you a nice little outfit put together. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Sure, man. You know. Oh, okay. Swag that out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What side of Chicago are you from? Uh, I was born out west, but um. Uh, from the south side of Chicago. Oh, okay. I was about to say, yeah, you gonna wear that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you said oh, West, yeah, you I gotta, felt You defeated. gotta worry about the, I mean, <clears throat> what color you wear? Uh, nah. Okay. Hell nah. <laughs> nah, you just gotta make sure you answer three questions in a row, right? Nah. You gotta answer three questions. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah? Yeah, man, just, just a little, you know, a little something. Appreciate it, man. Just, you know, just until times get right. better on both sides. <laughs> what with you? Okay, now we appreciate Come you on, stopping man. through here fucking with us, man. Anytime, hey, man. man. It's 85 South Show. And we out this beer. Yeah, yeah.